Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for December 2023. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. Then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys for December. So your overall energy, we have the 10 of cups in reverse. Well, it doesn't mean you're gonna be unhappy the whole month. That, that sounds a little discouraging. Um, to be honest with you, it feels like I'm going to say this and I mean this kindly because yes, it can feel a little bit negative. Something may not work out exactly the way that you had hoped or had expected, but I don't think it means that everything's going to be disappointing. We'll see when we clarify. Well, let's keep going and see where your current energy is. Okay. So there's definitely something that's going to pop up because you're done with some scenario in your life. What is this revolving around? King of Wands, Temperance, you're losing patience with something. So you may feel, and this is not going to be in every area of your life, you're going to feel some discontentment. And the reason this is coming up for you is because there's this, obviously a significant change that needs to be made. And you know what this is. We all know exactly when somebody, a reader says that, we know in our gut what that is that needs to change. You're done with something. And I think if you haven't already taken steps to close this out, whether it's end a relationship or figure something out with work. My guess is this is probably that something hasn't been working for quite some time and you know it and you want to take back control. The King of Wands is, I feel like this is your energy. It's like, you know who you are. He has a, a lot of self-worth, a lot of security in, it, in who he is. He knows how passionate he is. And it's, I say he, but gender doesn't matter. I just think you're getting to a place where you're you're finally realizing, I can't do this. I, I can't stay in places that I'm unhappy or around people that create that kind of unhappiness. With temperance in reverse, you've lost patience with something. You're not going back and forth anymore. You're absolutely done. December could be the time in which you finally realize, I have to get through this and I've got to make a change because I value myself more than I value something that's creating that kind of unhappiness in my life. So let's see what we have in the near future, which is good because the five of cups tells me that emotionally you're going to already or almost immediately be in a much better place. And remember, this is near future. So that could be within the month, the next couple of weeks, you make a decision to just be done with something. And then we have the lovers. Okay. Some of you are definitely getting out of a relationship. It's either coming to an end. You know, it needs to come to an end. It may have already come to an end. And it's a sense of, I, I just can't do it anymore. Whether it's betrayal or otherwise, you know you're better than staying in something that doesn't make you happy. And I think the emotions have already drained from you. So if you've already worked through this energy, Ace of Swords, you're going to have an epiphany moment. And you're going to have to ask yourself in that moment, is this it? What do I do? Either you're going to get over something that's already happened and that already broke apart. And you're going to realize you've this is your time to move forward. Or you're going to take the steps that you need to, to finally walk away. Because I just don't feel any emotion connected to it anymore. Let's see what we get. We've got the 10 of, yeah, you're putting down the burden. So you're at the end. You're not going to carry the weight of this any longer. Maybe you've been carrying the relationship. Or you did carry the relationship. And you knew that it was more than you could handle. And that means that sometimes one partner carries more than the other. And the other just doesn't step up to the plate. Let's see what comes after that, Ace of Wands. So you've got two aces here. You get that clarity. You make that decision. You know you've got to do what you've got to do. I keep hearing that song, Lost That Love and Feeling. And then Ten of Wands with, and I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm not saying that you're unemotional. Maybe you felt some emo a lot of emotions around this for such a long period of time, and now you just can't anymore. Um so what you don't see coming is putting down the burden of that and then something new coming around. So I always have to throw out every possibility and I want to do this. If you've already left this relationship, something new is coming about or you're going to finally feel 
like, oh, well, maybe I, I am ready to go out there and do something new because this is inspiration, um, passion, excitement, all kinds of different emotions. And if you're finally allowing yourself to fully disconnect, you could find yourself in a place of like, I know who I am. I'm confident and I'm ready. That's two very fiery, obviously very passionate cards. Under the Ace of Wands, we have the Queen of Swords. Um, I say this a lot when that card comes out. Be careful who you talk to about things. I'm not saying that you should always hold things in and that you shouldn't speak your truth. You do need to get honest with yourself about what you want. This epiphany moment that you're going to have, sometimes we have to get even clearer with ourselves. Yes, we can have the knowing, but then getting really honest with ourselves about what's worth putting our energy into after we've finally released something that's been burdening us for a long period of time, it, it can be hard to really get clear. And I think that's what this time is about. You're going to have to find a way to get clarity for yourself. Now, what Spirit wants you to focus on is the Seven of Pentacles and your fulfillment. Two of Cups. Okay, so this is about you finding somebody who matches you and really fulfills you emotionally, otherwise, who sees you for who you are. Absolutely sees you. Then it's worth putting the energy into. But if you'd been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to work itself out and it just never did, then you know better next time or you know better in a new situation because something really fulfilling is coming in for you. This is going to be someone who connects with you on a different level. I keep hearing something about a friend as well. You could be spending some time out with friends over the next couple of weeks and something really exciting shows up. Someone really exciting. I mean, if you're in a healthy relationship, clearly this isn't the reading for you. But it could be a question about somebody new. And I think that somebody new is definitely someone to give an opportunity to. All right, let's see what we get in the challenge. The moon. All right. Being a little bit secretive or questioning people, wondering if they have good intentions. This is where your intuition is going to have to kick up a notch. And I think you're all intuitive. We all are intuitive. I get a lot of people who say, well, I just don't trust my intuition because this is what happened. Well, your intuition's there, yes, to warn you. Um, are we always going to pick the right direction? No, because we may feel right at the time and we have a lesson to learn. And just because something turns out poorly doesn't mean that you didn't follow your intuition. You did exactly what you were supposed to and you had to learn a tough lesson from it. That doesn't mean that it's off. It just means, okay, well... Let me take a look back. It felt right at the time. I made the choice. I learned the lesson. Were there some things that maybe I needed to pay a little bit more attention to? Sure. And when you look back on some choices that you've made in the past, you may have that epiphany moment and say, well, I did kind of see this or I saw that. But if you weren't meant to ignore it, let me word that properly. Yeah, if you weren't meant to ignore it, that means there was some lesson involved in that situation. doesn't make it any easier or any better. So this moon, it's a challenge maybe to see things clearly or you question yourself often. Let's go ahead and clarify. What do we have with this Ten of Cups in reverse? Again, that Seven of Pentacles. You're going to know where to put your energy from this point forward because as much as you've invested in something and as frustrating as it can be when you've spent that much time and energy either on another person or anything in your life that you've invested in, it can be a little frustrating. So I think you're going to be questioning whether something much quicker, whether something's worth putting your energy into or not. The hanged man. So you may find yourself in a position of having to take a little bit of a break. Hang in there. I know. I know. That was, it's not a funny one, but, um, you know, hang in there. Because the hanged man is there for a reason. It's saying hang in there while you take this time. Maybe to reevaluate some things, just to pause for a minute. Ten of Swords with the King of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So you're much better off. Some people, some of you, some people prefer to be, you know, incredibly independent. Um, we're finding more and more of that energy where people prefer their independence over cohabitating or co living or even marriage. Some people have just decided they don't want to do that anymore doesn't mean that you're not going to, but this is an opportunity for you to grow and expand and do something new. 
if your confidence is just finally kicking up a notch, this could be you being done with something that's not working in work life. Yes, it could be. And opening yourself up to trying something new, something that you know now you have the confidence and, and the endurance to, to do. Temperance is losing patience, sometimes with yourself. You may find yourself getting impatient with yourself, like, why do I keep doing this? Could be self-sabotage at times. They don't do it, by the way. It's not unusual. But I think now you've got the confidence to move beyond whatever challenges or obstacles you had in the past. The King of Wands with Temperance in Reverse, Eight of Cups in Reverse. So you're definitely walking away from something or you already did. Five of Cups with the Lovers, both in Reverse. We have the Page of Cups. That's new. This is something new, someone new coming into your experience. It could be just a new offer. This could be an offer from a job that you really love, but you may, it's, it could be starting fresh and that's a little bit scary. I would say be as open as you can um, to whatever this offer is. You'll be very clear about what it is soon. The next is the seven of wands, vulnerability, being open, not being too guarded with somebody new because of things that have happened in the past. And just allowing yourself to, to relax into an energy, not needing to be so defensive. I, I think you know your boundaries. You've gotten clear about what those are and who you can trust and who you can be vulnerable with. Um, but this feels like allowing yourself to be a little bit vulnerable to someone new. All right, so the Ten of Wands putting down that burden and the Ace of Wands starting fresh. You've got something massive to celebrate this month. It's going to be exciting. You're going to get really fired up. Some of you may be starting something new and you've been waiting a long time for this and you've known that you needed to, but the timing didn't feel right or you just didn't have that sign that said, yes, this is it. If you love it, which I think you do, go for it. This is going to be so incredible. You'll have something's going to be successful. So keep putting your mind to it because you could be working with others, but this is a celebration, no doubt for this new beginning. So the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands. Be careful who you tell because there's a lot of people who seem to want to know what's going on in your life. I do see you having a brand new perspective. Yes, that's what this card tells me. It is starting fresh, thinking differently, releasing old conditioned belief systems. Anything that you felt or believed, I think you're clearing some of that and it's bringing your confidence up. You're not listening to old conditioning anymore, old belief systems that you had, something that may have been running through your head. And this is going to create a sense of happiness and fulfillment moving forward. So again, there's somebody here that's going to see you, see your value, see your worth, be very supportive um, and understanding about what your ideas are. So the seven of pentacles, what spirit wants you to focus on and the nine of cups, we've got the queen of pentacles. You know that if you don't follow your heart, and it doesn't fulfill you, that you're not going to feel really good about investing your time and energy into something. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. It, it feels a little like, well, you know things can be unstable, and if you're not truly happy or fulfilled, that's when it creates a sense of instability. We have to be patient while things grow, but we also have to know when to cut things off. So if something has finished itself and it's created instability, they're asking you to take a look at what truly fulfills you. And if you don't know, keep looking until you get very clear about what that is. The Nine of Cups with the Two of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords again. So you twice now in the beginning and the end of this reading technically is it's like you're done. Make a decision, be done with it. Know that you're not going to allow yourself, to, you're not betraying yourself. Don't betray yourself any longer. The moon, we have devil in reverse. So sometimes I think you fear that you're going to make the wrong decisions or that you're going to pick maybe another toxic partner. Or you're afraid that this uh, cycle is not going to end. This just tells me that that's exactly the opposite of what's happening, is that you can trust yourself. All right, so let's move forward and see what's going on. Excuse me, a little hiccup. What's going on with you and your person? Or whoever's on your mind. What's the energy for Virgo? This could be completely different or the same as something in the main reading. So we have the Page of Wands. You've got somebody who's a little immature. Um, okay, well, look. The Page of Wands in reverse is 
in the, the, I like both that and the devil in reverse. Could they be immature at times? Yes. Is it a fun energy? It feels like. So this is something good that's coming into your life that's going to be exciting and new if you're ready and open to it. And I think you should be if, if you're ready because it feels like it's going to be something good. Trust yourself here because whoever this is is coming in with the intention of connecting on a deeper level. Your energy, see, there's that fear, I feel, the full in reverse. Wheel of Fortune, you're afraid something's not going to work out. Emperor, there's Aries energy and, and Taurus as well. And then we have the Seven of Wands. So a part of you may fear losing control. And that could be it. Maybe in the past you felt like you gave up too much of your own control in your relationships. I think this is asking you to be a little open. Um, and again, that you may be a little scared because you want to maintain control of yourself and your circumstances after past experiences and, and not being not feeling like things worked out the way that you had hoped obviously you know betrayal comes in and that's frustrating and we don't want to make the same mistake two or three times so try to be open here because I think somebody has good intentions let's see what we get from the romance angels all right so we have you deserve love. You are lovable. Absolutely. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So open yourself up because this could be the right person that's finally showing up for you. This could be this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then past life relationship, you have known each other before. So this could feel like a really deep connection. And you may not be sure because of what you've already been through. All right. Let's see what the lover's oracle says. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Okay. This is what I feel like is developing or will develop with somebody new. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. That's everything that this whole reading is saying. Is that something new is opening up to you and to get ready for that. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And that may be what... Is happening in this new dynamic if you haven't experienced it yet it could be that somebody challenges you but it's also that the connection is really deep and profound so try to stay open to that and then my beloved though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missing a lot of lost loved ones have been coming through in readings and just wanting to make themselves known don't know who it's for it could be one person but there is definitely someone that is not here um, whether that be that some of you may have lost a partner or something's happening where you lost somebody that you really love. Just know that, that this, that's always their message. Nothing is ever missing. We miss them, obviously, because they're not in physical form anymore. Uh, let's keep going. All right, so the last one we have is the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Virgo. All right, so co-create. A lot of this creating with co-creating with the universe. You could be 40 or born on the fourth and then regeneration. This is a good sign because it's a 10. So you could be 46, born on the fourth, the sixth or the 10th. This is what you're going through. It's like a new, a new version of you. Regeneration, you're growing back. Maybe you felt like you just hadn't been going anywhere for a long time or things hadn't been developing. And now all of a sudden you're going through this regeneration process where you feel like Finally, things are starting to look different. And then fates, great card to have. You could be born on the 17th, the 1st, the 7th, or the 8th. This is something that's fated to come into your life. So if you haven't experienced this relationship yet or this new passion that you have, something is definitely fated. Trust it. It's a wish that's coming true for you. And then we have fork in the road. You have a choice to make. We always do. We have free will. So you could at this point, be trying to make that decision about which way to go. I think you're gonna know. And I don't think any choice is the wrong choice. I think we have lessons no matter what, um, but you'll learn very quickly. Not saying that it's gonna be a bad lesson, there's just a fork in the road. So you have a, a definite choice to make. So you could be born on the 13th, the first, the third, or the fourth. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. I can't thank you enough for all of your support. Again, please hit that like button on the way out. 
And if you'd like a personal reading, as I said before, the information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing month. I'm sending you tons of love and I will see you in the next one.